Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Bliss Studio Hobbies. My name is Ashley and today I have a diamond painting, unboxing, and kit up video for you guys. So, I decided to uh, show you guys the next kit I'm going to be working on. This is Gypsy Violets. Um, it's by Sheena Pike and it's a 56 by 71. It is a round and it is from Diamond Art Club. All right, so for the month of April, there is an event going on, Giddy Up with JTMJ Crafts 2022. And I wanted to participate in that event, so I decided to do Gypsy Violet because it's all about horses, that event. I love working on events. I do have, so funny, I have a spreadsheet on my that I created on my phone, and I have all the events, and I got the events from that uh, Diamond Painting event group on Facebook. Book. it tells you all the events for the year so I find all the events that I may want to work on I put them in the spreadsheet and I put the names of my canvases that may coincide with that event <laughs> so for this event I thought Gypsy Violet was a great choice because it's all about horses and I've been wanting to work on this canvas for quite some time now um, I did record the first part of this video and um, I don't know what happened to it so let's try this again <laughs> So uh, this is Gypsy Violet. Here's a picture here. It is by Sheena Pike. Now, this canvas is in the last chance section on the Diamond Art Club website. So if you like this, rush on over there and get it before it's gone. Because I do believe the license has expired with Sheena Pike, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But nonetheless, this kit is in the last chance section. So if you like what you see, make sure you hurry on over there and get it before it's sold out. Because I believe once it's gone, it's not coming back or they may like release all the ones that have already been uh, created and then that's it. But this kit is going away. So just so you guys know that. So without further ado, let's get this open. All right, the canvas, toolkits and the record minder. All right, so here we have the record minder. Some people like to put this on the box, but I like to save it for <laughs> the diamond painting log book that I hope to create soon. Again, this is Gypsy Violet. Sheena Pike is the artist and it's from Diamond Art Club. It is a round shape and it's a 56 by 71. Here's that uh, standard uh, diamond painting toolkit from Diamond Art Club. This is their old kit. They are integrating the new kits in, but this is an older toolkit, just as good. It has everything you need to diamond paint. You have a pen, a plate of wax, a boat, and some extra baggies. All right, let's open her up. Do what makes you sparkle. I sure will. Let me get this here. All right, let's see the beauty. All right, so here's your step-by-step -step instructions. In here, there's like a coupon code and instructions. There's also a coupon code on your box and I believe on your receipt. So there's coupon codes everywhere so you don't have to pay full price. We have some drills that we're gonna go over. And we have this sticker here, your large sticker, and then your um, pre-cut labels. They are pre-cutting the labels now. They didn't used to do that. You can put your start date, end date, and then it has the shape, which is round 56 by 71. The title and the art is Gypsy Violet by Sheena Pike. So now they are pre-cutting the labels. I have noticed that the stickers are a little bit different since they are pre-cutting the labels. They don't tend to be as sticky as the previous labels, so they don't leave residue. But the trouble with that is sometimes they peel up off of your containers. Um, and it can be a pain, so sometimes I have to put clear tape over it um, to make them stick. If you're using baggies, they don't tend to peel up. So just so you guys know that. But being pre-cut is good nonetheless. Diamond Art Club has pour glue. So I'm going to roll this canvas the opposite way so that it can flatten so we can see the whole thing here. So what you do is you just do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Roll it up. Let it flatten out. Now. 
And there you have it. Look how beautiful. All right, Miss Gypsy Violet. I love all the purples, greens, some teal over here. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful canvas. Let me scroll it in so you guys can see the whole thing. All right, we have our Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle here. We have a legend on the left-hand side. This is a beautiful, beautiful horse. We have another legend here on the right-hand side. And, sorry, this is the bottom of the canvas. So let me try that. Let me try to get this whole thing in frame here. It is proving to be very difficult. Once again, I need to find the magic to getting these canvases in frame. But I will post a picture of the whole canvas so you guys can see. This is so beautiful. I love it. Um, at the bottom of the canvas, you do have the name, the author, the dimensions. You have some social media here. And I believe there's also a 10% off coupon code there. And then you have your lifetime warranty. So if you spill your drills, I do believe that Diamond Art Club would send you up to eight. Don't quote me. You'll have to look at their policy. And so they'll send you drills if you spill your drills. So that's a good thing. That's that lifetime warranty. All right, let's peel this back. The stick is good, of course. So I think I've told you guys this before, but... I do not use this plastic covering anymore. I tend to use the little square sheets that you place all over your canvas. That seems to be easier for me, but I'm thinking maybe I should do the um, washi tape method on top of this and use the clear cover. I haven't decided yet. Let's get into the drills. I'm gonna roll this out the way. All right. And of course, they put the name of the canvas just in case you store your drill separately. Sorry if you don't like the crinkling plastic. I apologize. Guys, look at these colors. They are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Love it. All right, I'm not going to go through each color. But I'm going to show you. Oh, my gosh. Look at that first AB. Beautiful. We have greens, some muted colors, more blue, purples. We have tons of purples. More green, more purple, more green. The greens and purple on this one. So pretty. And then we just have more purple. Look at these colors. Oh my God. All the purples and the greens and teals and blues. All right. What do you guys think? Hopefully you guys are able to get this kit if you like it. I... I'm going to show you how I kit up. Now, when I diamond paint, I use the symbol. I do not use the number. So I decided to use this, um, this kit up method. Oh, this painting has 47 colors. I don't think I mentioned that. 47 colors and this container holds uh, 60 colors. So I have plenty of room to, um, kit up in this I did want to show you I picked my accessories for this diamond painting I like for my accessories to match the painting so of course let me remove this of course I have my Bella Art Day Nicole tray I've never used these new trays with the spout before so I have purple set I just ordered two new colors and I'm so excited to get them but here's that tray it has the lid so I'm excited to use my new tray here I have a couple of cover minders. This one, I think I had a had this one in a, a Happy Mail haul. That's a pink unicorn. It says 
Don't quit your daydream. Don't quit your daydream. I thought that was pretty cute. It's a unicorn. And then I'm going to use this cover minder. It says, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. I love that saying. And, you know, that's, that's pretty neat. So I'm going to use those two cover minders. And look at this pin, you guys. <laughs> look at that beautiful, beautiful pin. I cannot, for the love of me, remember where I got this pin. I will look through my stuff and then I'll put it on the screen where I got this beautiful purple and wooden pin from. Look how pretty that is. I've been wanting to, I did use this pin before, but I've been wanting to use this pin again. I absolutely love it. And of course, there is a four placer, my favorite placer on there. So those will be my accessories. I still have to pick out my washi tape. I pick out a washi tape to match each canvas. I'm sure I have tons of purple washi tape. So that will not be a problem. So how I normally kit up is, I just cut these away, uh, pick a sticker and whatever sticker corresponds with that color. I don't go in any particular order. Um, I put the drills in there and that's how I kit up. Stay tuned if you want to see me uh, kit up. guys 
we are all kitted up and ready to work on our kit. So I did want to tell you guys that I have several bags that have more drills in the bag that could fit in the containers. So what I do is I take my toolkit, I use those extra baggies, I label these extra baggies with the extra labels that they give you. You just write the DMC number on there label them on the baggies and pour those into the baggies. And then when I need to refill my containers, I can refill my containers. So that is how I do that. I will do that a little bit later after I finish the video. But for video's sake, I am all kitted up and ready to work on my beautiful diamond painting. Again, I'm going to be working on Gypsy Violet by Sheena Pike. It is a round 56 by 71 from Diamond Art Club. I did want to show you that this kit has two ABs, 126, which is that pastel purple. I don't know if you guys can see that really good. So pretty. And then 136, which is that blue. So AB, they have two ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating that goes on top of the drills to make them shine a little bit brighter. And those are our two colors for our Gypsy Violet. Cute. All right, let's take a moment to look and see where our ABs will be on the kit. Ones and twos. Ones and twos. All right, here's our beautiful kit again. Let's find some ones and twos in here. So the ones are all throughout the purple. A little throughout the purple here, here, a little down there, all over throughout the purple. And there's lots of purple on here. And the twos are the blues within the blues, within the blue spaces, spaces that you see. Twos in here, twos in here. I believe there's some twos in her face here. That's going to be stunning. I can't wait to work on this. Again, I do have to finish my mermaid diamond painting that I started in March. I'm not even halfway done, but I have a little more time now. So I'm thinking I can get that done in the next couple of weeks and then start on this one. This is uh, my April kit for Giddy Up with JTMJ Crafts that I will be working on. Let me show you guys the canvas one more time. All right, guys, it's easier if I show you the canvas on this table. All right, so you guys can see her in her full beauty. So pretty, isn't she? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Who else has this canvas? And is hoping to work on it for the April event. Again, um, this canvas is in the last chance section on Diamond Art Club's website. So if you would like this canvas, rush on over and get it. I do believe it's at a discount too because it's last chance. It's so pretty, can't wait to work on it. It is 47 colors and it's around. I try to recap everything because I know I forget things sometimes. But that's all I have for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.